guys, it's Daisy here. Welcome to a new series called Pinvestigate, where I will be investigating some pins on Pinterest. So the pin that we'll be looking at today requires some nails and nail polish. We're gonna see if band-aids can be used to add a polka dot finish on nails. In this investigation, we're gonna be using some gel nail polish as well as some normal nail polish. And today I'm gonna be using OPI. We'll also need some band-aids, a lot of different sorts of band-aids, and of course our fingernails. First thing you wanna do is open up the band-aids and try and find some band-aids that have the little porous things in them. This one doesn't have one unfortunately so I opened up another one. The pores in this band-aid unfortunately is very small. I'm not quite sure if the nail polish will go through it. So I'm going to be starting off with the gel nail polish. Obviously you're going to be putting your base coat on as well as the color of your choice. I'll be using this sort of minty blue color. After curing and drying it, you want to put the band-aid on, the one with the pores, and just put that onto your fingernail that's dried off. Then place a different color nail polish, preferably a bright one on top. Now, we're gonna pull off this band-aid and see if it has done us any justice. By the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's put any of the gel nail polish onto my perfect blue nails. It's barely visible but there is something on there. I don't know if I would call that a win. With this one I'm going to be poking some holes into the pores of this band-aid to make them bigger. Hopefully with bigger holes it will enable us to be able to seep through the nail polish. We'll see if this technique works. So I'm going to put this band-aid on my fingernail, do the exact same thing rip it off. This particular band-aid for some reason had really sticky residue and while pulling it off it has smudged the nail polish all over the place which looks horrible. We're quickly gonna do it again with another different band-aid and this one I don't know it kind of worked but kind of not. It was really really faint. Hardly worked at all. I wouldn't call that a win at all. Not even worth it. So now I'm going to be trying some normal nail polish. Maybe normal nail polish will work better than the gel nail polish. So I'm going to be putting this lovely OPI blue color on as well as a band-aid with pores on it on top. Then I'm going to be dabbing on this silver nail polish and seeing if that works. While I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit, I'm going to try and put a darker nail polish again with the gel nail polish and see if somehow it you know, works. I'm just hoping this works. And as you can see, it kind of did, but again, it is smudged like crazy. So now I'm pulling off the regular nail polish and it just looks disgusting. There is so much residue with the normal nail polish. So when I think of putting dots on my nails, I think of a dotting tool. I have a dotting tool because I work a lot with polymer clay. So I'm just going to be dotting on nail polish using that and look how perfect that looks. Those are real dots guys, real dots. And if you don't have a dotting tool, try a toothpick. Works somewhat the same. It looks a hundred times better than using the band-aid hack technique. So the verdict of this pin wasn't too good. My nails didn't actually turn out so well when I put on the band-aid and put the nail polish on top. So I would deem this pin a fail. Maybe if the holes in the band-aids were bigger, it would then work. But even so, I would still use a toothpick or a dotting tool to be putting dots on my fingernails with nail polish. That just seems like a better option. So I hope you guys liked this Pinvestigate episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys next time. Bye!